Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. I'm Jared Schaffron, now joined by Chad McDonald, junior forward for our men's hockey team. And Chad and the team with a sweep of Northern Michigan in the first round of the WCHA playoffs over the weekend. Congratulations on the wins. Well, thank you. I think I uh, heard it in your highlights that it's, uh, I think, our first home sweep. Uh, kind of crazy. I guess we uh, wanted to save the, the best for last there. So No better time to do it uh, yeah, than no in the time. playoffs. Yeah. So. Chad, uh, you know, what a weekend it was. Uh, two games that were really close. You guys split during the regular season with Northern Michigan. We knew it was going to be a, a close weekend, and both games came down to the wire. Uh, I'm sure it was really exciting end-of-game action. Oh, it was it was definitely exciting. You know, on Friday even, we uh, we were up 3-2, to two and I think I got a empty net shot there from just uh, just outside the blue line and, you know, make that nine times out of ten, and I end up missing it. But, uh, you know, that one came down to the wire, and then, you know, even Saturday where they went up two to one. I think we had 14 minutes or so left in the third period when they went up two to one and just kind of looking around and crazy to think that we scored, you know, another four goals there to finish the game out. I don't think anyone really thought that was going to be the case when we went in the locker room, you know, tied one to one going into the third, but, you know, we couldn't be happier. First night, it was a, it was a two, two game in the third period. You'd had a lead earlier in the game. They come back and score twice, and it was a power play goal, and you're one of those guys on the power play. End up coming up with, uh, with the play down to Riker, and Kyle Shemp was in front. Take us through uh, what that goal was like. Yeah, um, you know, it was kind of a scrum out front. I'm not sure if Corey Mackin brought the puck around the back of the net and tried to uh, pass out to Kyle to start off with. And then it just kind of turned into a scrum, and the puck was rolling on me a little bit, and I could have tried to shoot it through, but uh, Northern had all four of those guys right around, the, uh, right around the crease there, and I'm like, you know what, I'd rather pass it over to Riker and maybe he'll have a more of a clean shot or you know he ended up missing it a little bit I think it went in the corner but then he found Kyle because Kyle was just standing there net front and ended up working out it was a good goal good uh, position by Kyle there you get that power play goal it was the only power play goal of the of the Friday night game it ends up being the game winner you win the game three to two and then Saturday game even maybe a little more crazy yeah it was one one like you said going to the third period very even game once again um, some major penalties and, uh, and you guys were able to, to pull through. But the, the big goals there on the power play, Gerald Mayhew scores twice in a row. And uh, we're going to take a look at, at one of your goals in a moment here in that game. But Gerald scoring twice in 37 seconds, uh, that was probably also pretty exciting. Oh, it was huge. You know, the first one, uh, you know, I ended up breaking the puck out. And we ended up changing our power play breakout right before we went out the third. It was, you know, it wasn't really working for us. And, you know, I passed it right away to Van Wormer on the boards. He kind of passed it to Kyle, and then it went right back out to him. And he ended up making a good play right to Gerald in front, and he scored. And, you know, the in initial reaction there is, oh, my gosh, we just tied the game up. You know, we're, we're pumped. And then, you know, I think they reviewed it. I'm not sure how long they did, but it seems like they reviewed every goal. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, they end up dumping the puck down, kind of turns into a scrum for another 30 seconds and then Gerald gets the puck and you know goes coast to coast angles through one of their defensemen and scores and you know he he scored and uh, you know he didn't even think that it went in but we're like dude they called it a goal like it went in so it was pretty exciting but not what any of us thought would happen you know 37 seconds later especially down two to one and then just a huge turn of events. We've got some video here uh, earlier in that game on Saturday of your first goal, which was uh, the first goal of the game for you guys. You were down one nothing, and uh, nice deflection here. Yeah, uh, you know, how that all started off was that's a good win by uh, Matt Robertson on the draw. Uh, you know, we've scored quite a few uh, goals lately off of face-offs, and that's a credit to Robo and, uh, you know, even Mitch coming through there and, you know, stirring things up a bit. Uh, you know, but the the big play here is uh, Tyler Durant. is on this keep-in right here. You'll see that. That's got his head up right there, too, and ended up, you know, putting it right on my stick, perfect pass, and you know, got to give a lot of credit to where it's due, and those guys definitely got it. You know, you'll see the keep in right here. That's, you know, big time. And then he takes a little bit of a peek up at me to see me in front of the net, and then puts it right on my stick. So, you know, you got to give credit to them. Tyler Duranty's not really known as an offensive defenseman, seven assists on the season, but uh, right there, it looked like he, he's pretty comfortable with you guys, right, getting it down low. No, yeah, he is, and, you know, again, that uh, definitely took place because he got his head up right when he kept the puck in to see where everyone was at, and, uh, you know, that, that definitely uh, helps him out, and that was a good pass by him. Ferris State with the sweep over Northern Michigan in the first round of the WCHA playoffs, and you're moving on to the Final Five. This is your third year here with Ferris State. All three years you've been to the Final Five. Uh, first two years haven't been able to come out on top, but you've got that experience the first two years. What's it like going in now in your third year? You've been there before. You kind of know what the, what the scene is a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's 
you know, it's in a do or die situation type of a thing now. And, uh, you know, that experience definitely builds. It's, uh, it's nice going back down to Van Andel, you know, again, it saves us travel. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of Ferris alums and a lot of Ferris, hopefully Ferris students that go down there and give us, you know, give us some fans there because it really is a big turning point when we have a lot of fans there and a lot of students there. It gives us an edge and, you know, something that we can't really, you know, create on our own and it gives us another jump. And, um, but yeah, you know, that, that experience will definitely pay off and, you know, hopefully a third time's a charm here. Um, you know, and I'm pretty confident going into, uh, going into this one, you know, we're, we're rolling and, you know, we had a little bit of a stretch there where it kind of got away from us, you know, at Bowling Green, but, you know, coach, you know, coach Daniels has said that we haven't been playing bad as it is, you know, we've been, we've been playing solid. It's just getting down to that nitty gritty type of hockey and we just got to, you know, do our best and see what happens. So those last few highlights there, you ended up with a goal and two assists on, in that last game and you're taking on Michigan Tech now. Have faced Michigan Tech four times this year, but they were four games in a row back in October, so it's been a long time. How much do you dwell on those games? you just move forward? Or do you look back at those games at all? You know, you don't really. I, I kind of looked back at uh, our, uh, on the college hockey app and uh, saw that we lost. I think first game was 5-1 to one at home. That was a little bit of a downer. Um, and then we came back and beat them. And then Gerald actually... I don't think we would have, we could have, you know, had the edge in the season series. Gerald had a breakaway there where he just, uh, you know, put it into the guy's pad and then they ended up going down and just turn a bad luck. But, you know, we, you can't really dwell on those games. That's all the way back in October. You know, they're a different team now and we're definitely a different team now. So, you know, we just got to look forward. We just got to keep doing what we've been doing the second half of the season because it's been paying off for us. You mentioned that you guys are a different team now. What's different about the team? How much have you grown during the course of the season? You know, it's just, you look at the first half and it was just, you know, constant 500 back and forth. Um, and, you know, it, I can't say that we've really changed as much as we just started to come together and just started to gel a little bit more. And, you know, everyone's getting chemistry and you see that the lines are kind of staying the same way and they've been the same way since the second half started. And everyone's kind of getting that uh, chemistry with their line mate. You know, you see Mackin and Drew Durani's, they've been together, I think, the whole year. You know, they just have that chemistry in between them. And I think Robo and I have been together for the good portion of the second half. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting everything rolling and everyone's, you know, on the same page. And I think that's really, that's the only thing that's changed. Bulldogs <laughs> going up against Michigan Tech this weekend in the WCHA's Final Five in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, it's going to be a really, really good event. Chad, we appreciate you joining us here and uh, good luck this weekend. Yeah, thank you. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Bob Daniels. We'll go into a little bit more depth, recap those two games against Northern Michigan, and get a little more preview from the coach as we head to the Final Five in Grand Rapids this weekend. <laughs> 